When Mark Wahlberg put his daily regimen on Instagram, it instantly went viral and big time. His food and fitness discipline is legendary. Mark Wahlberg's daily schedule is insane. At 2.30 a.m., his alarm clock goes off, and he starts his day with prayer. At 3.15, he eats a breakfast of egg whites. It's the first of his seven daily meals. By 7 a.m., he's already been to the gym for an hour and a half workout, ready to take the kids to school. At 10.30, Mark may have a grilled chicken salad with two eggs and veggies. On to work calls and meetings. By 1 p.m., it's lunchtime. Three turkey burgers and a sweet potato. After golf, work, family time, and a dip in the cryo chamber to heal his aching muscles, it's 3.30 p.m., time for some grilled chicken and bok choy. Then, another intense second workout of the day. 5.30 is family dinner, usually a lean piece of fish. Then by 7.30, it's bedtime, nighty-night. Then Mark opened up about what keeps him motivated and inspired. Take a look. When I arrived at F45, I had no idea what I was in for. Neither did Mark when he first came. When I walked in, I'd seen something I'd never seen before. People of all ages, shapes, and sizes working out together in a community setting. And it was all about support and love and encouragement. And uh, I've been, you know, now not even using my 2,000 square foot gym in my house. I come here. Let's do this! Let's do this! F45 is 45 minutes of high-intensity circuit training that focuses on functional or everyday movement. What does working out at F45 do for you? What does it, what does it give you that you wouldn't have otherwise? It just gives me another, le another level of inspiration and motivation. It's fantastic. So if I get excited to come. And you know, before I'm like, I'll do whatever I have to do for my job because I'm well compensated and I want to show up prepared. But to be able to like get really excited about working out again, it's in a group environment like this. And what has it done for you in your life in general? Forget about the, most, the last five films you've made. If you hadn't been working out religiously, that wasn't a thing that kept you on, on the rails, where would you be right now? Oh, you know, between my faith and my fitness, you know, and my family, those are the most important things in my life. That's how I start my day. I get on my hands and my knees. I thank God. I'm so grateful because I'm so blessed and fortunate. And then I figure, what do I how do I utilize all those blessings and gifts to help others and inspire others and do all that stuff? And that's what keeps me going. You know, I got to be a good example for my kids. I'd be a good example for other people. I got to motiv motivate other people to be the best versions of themselves. I saw Mark's gratitude in action when he introduced me to some guys from his old neighborhood whose lives took a very different path. So Mark was telling me your stories. Was that, was that they were pretty meaningful to get out of jail and come do this? Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you, were you sort of tracking what Mark was going through? When you went to jail? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. It seemed to come up. The lifestyle we did to the things he was doing. From one little part to a big part and just better and better. So what got you on a different path from them? What happened? Well, the first time I got locked up, I was like, oh, my God. Once I heard those jail doors close behind me, and I was literally 16, tried as an adult. 17, I was that big, probably 120 pounds. It was real men. And it's scary stuff. That, that ain't enough to turn you around. Off the so, and then, of course, be, then being in the neighborhood and saying, you know what, I'm not going to be in the gang anymore. I'm going to I'm gonna go the right route. Then you're not with them anymore. You're against them. Yeah. And then I had more problems then and got violated my probation and my parole a couple of times. But thank God my parole officer, probation officer believed in me because I could have went back for the time that I had hanging over my head. And they gave me a chance to turn my life around. Was, was, was there a moment where you, where you looked up and said, God, come help me. I, I just course, can't do this. Of course. Every time I got in trouble, I would always then turn to God. But then when I decided that I was going to stay with God, then slowly but surely, good things started happening. Good things kicked in the high gear 15 minutes into the workout when Mario Lopez showed up. Oh, my goodness. How you doing? You're doing this. <laughs> it was a fitness party. Mario Lopez is buff. Where'd the time go? That's the thing, it goes by quick. Woo! All right, so I'm still alive. I got. I know where the defibrillator is. Mark's gonna use my shirt as a barf bag because he had quesadillas for breakfast. You had quesadillas? He for did. I'm I'm fasting. Just vomit right in there. Do your wife, kids ever get upset that you're working out all the time? Yeah, they always say you don't have to work out that much. 
<laughs> but at the same time, they know that, you know, dad is an example, like the same thing with my faith. I don't push my fitness on them or my faith, but they know that I can't go without it. Mark's extraordinary regime clearly yields extraordinary results. But I wonder if he ever chills. You ever hit the snooze button and sleep in? Uh, you know what? I, I let my guy in this morning and I laid down for another 20 minutes because I wanted to be there when my kids woke up and be the first face that they saw. So I woke them up. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Right, uh, cheat foods. Cheat foods, you know what? A little bit of wine and a little bit of pasta. Wall love burgers. Red wine. Wall burgers. Oh, absolutely. But you know what? We got the Impossible Burger and we have a lot of healthy offerings. I mean, we have salads, we have everything. We have what about working out things you enjoy? What, what, what is the feeling you get for you? The greatest feeling I get for working out is finishing the workout. <laughs> And I get that. After 45 minutes, I admit I was wiped out, but exhilarated.